Have you guys ever wondered if you could get any better at The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Fear not, I will show you with my 12 tips and tricks. The first tip is to tame and register a horse early game. This tip might seem like a no-brainer, but a lot of people don't do it until late game or even never. After you get a horse and you kill it accidentally, or a monster kills it on purpose, you can go to the horse god to revive your beloved horse. If you want to revive a horse a second time, you will have to bring the horse god an Indura carrot. This is the location of the horse god, and these are locations of some five star horse spots. The second tip is to go snowball bowling or snowlin. You earn a lot of rupees from doing it, and it still works quite well. All you need to do is head to the Hebra Tower and paraglide to the house nearest to the Hebra Tower. The third tip is to defeat the Stone Talus early game on the Great Plateau, because it gives you a nice amount of gems that you can sell for a bunch of rupees. All you need to do is teleport to the Shrine of Resurrection and then paraglide off the cliff to the left. The big open area is where you'll find him. The fourth tip is to get the High Lion Shield. Look in the description to get the link to go to the video that explains how to get the High Lion Shield in depth. My fifth tip is to upgrade stasis to freeze monsters. It is very helpful in defeating practically anything you'll find. You do this by getting a few ancient parts and heading to the Hatino Ancient Ch Tech Lab and talking to Peru after completing the main storyline quest with her. My sixth tip is to use all the combos you know, like back flipping, perfect dodges, and perfect guards and just go ham on anything that stands in your path. My seventh tip is to shoot monsters in the eyes or eye, because it sends some flying back, it makes others lose their weapon, and it even disables guardians and does a ton of damage to them. My eighth tip is to go back to the test of strength and kill the little guardians for their OP weapons. My ninth tip is to find as many Korok seeds as possible and then trade them with Hestu for more item slots. You come across him while you're following the main story line to Kakariko village. After getting two extra item slots from him, he goes to the Korok forest and then he stays there. My tenth tip is to explore every little nook and cranny of every mountain and if you ever find something notable, like a boss or even a good horse spot, mark it on your map with the stamp. My eleventh tip is to use fire a lot. Use fire to fly up in the air with your paraglider. Use fire to cook and pass time. Even use fire to kill monsters. My twelfth tip is to find Kilton, the creepy dude. His stuff is a little useful and a little creepy. To find Kilton, you go to the left eye of Skull Lake. Then, wait until nighttime. After you encounter him, you'll find him in many places, one of them being the left side of the bridge to Terrytown on the beach below. The last tip is also a no-brainer, but it is very useful. It is. Play as much as possible. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is one of the best games out there, so you won't do any harm by completing it in the first month or even the first couple of days. So I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks video and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you do decide to comment, please tell me how I did on this video. So see you guys later. Peace. Oh.